to my channel, Coin Lady, and thank you for returning. I end the cryptocurrency markets, the celebration must now commence. Legal dispute between Ripple and SEC. The markets just gave us one of the most optimistic updates you've ever seen, so I'll give you my update on that. However, we had to make a last minute modification. I aligned the chart. Everything is arranged for you. The sky is about to fall in these markets. Let me give you the lowdown on the timeline. When it comes to Bitcoin markets, these time frames will be the most precise ones you've ever seen. Up to this moment, I had predicted the Bitcoin run. I felt a bit uneasy about my bottom. You already know that it's between 57 and 60. We went down to the very bottom. Yeah. A fraud wick was produced. We weren't really restrained. At most, I'd say we held 56 I was little off. It's alright. It's alright. These marketplaces are like two eggs poised to hatch. Without a doubt, we will discuss Bitcoin and XRP. Since Solana has recently jumped BNB, we will, in fact, discuss it. Solana is going to take over now that BNB is stepping down. You won't see Solana on Ethereum anymore. Hello, everyone. Fire is consuming Solana. I reached out to the Patreon community. You've heard me say that on the radio. I've been giving you subtle cues, like winks, nudges, and hints. This is only the beginning. $82 is chump change. Its recent 90-day performance is 30% higher. The last 30 days have seen a 33% increase. Around 120, I made the call that we are now making a killing on. This is still not finished, Solana. It's not over yet since we're going to see an out of the thousand at 250 or 300. When this is over, Solana, it's back to the people. Take it easy. A unique treat is on the way for you. Now, let's begin. Cryptocurrency, $67,951 in the previous 24 hours, it has risen 4.78%. Ethereum entering the 3,279 market. It's also up 4.79% right now. Beloved XRP, get this, USDT is making a triumphant return as a dollar peg, USDC is making an impressive debut at 99 cents, and now. Truly, XRP is back at 60 cents after some mystical wriggling and climbing. It seems like it could keep it. Our next push-up is what we're aiming for. Keep in mind that at this moment, 75 cents is all that can be managed. The total market cap of cryptocurrencies is 2 trillion 443 billion. A lot of people are watching the Olympics. He's the one that foolishly attempted to criticize XRP. His point is valid, though. Because their money is going crap, people are seeking out new options, having fun, and moving ahead. Cryptography is so being investigated. Will they investigate other cryptocurrencies in addition to Bitcoin? Holy cow! Do not even think about looking, it was newly released. This channel's message is clear to you. Set it as a fridge magnet. Notate this. If you could jot down. Full transmit is what Bitcoin is all about. I pray you are ready to go. At this very moment, what am I referring to? Please examine the Bitcoin chart as a starting point. The first region where we will definitely erupt and break through is 68,000 to 74,000. A change is on the horizon for Bitcoin, and it may happen as early as the middle to late August or even the beginning of September. I know you don't believe me, but before you do, check this out. Alright, let's take a moment to gather our thoughts before moving further. As far as Greg is concerned, the most bullish indicator in Bitcoin's recent history, one with a record of 14 years, just flashed a buy signal this week. You may refer to it as the hash ribbon. Therefore, a decline in the hash rate indicates that Bitcoin miners are pulling out of the market. The typical reason they depart is because they are unable to pay their bills anymore due to the decline in Bitcoin price. As a result, the hash rate of Bitcoin has always been significantly tied to the price of Bitcoin. How wonderful. I was just having a brief conversation with Matt Keith earlier. 
This is the Bitcoin market share graphic. Look, there's still a ways to go before Bitcoin's dominance skyrockets and enters this bluish box. Only then will you be able to wait for it to start falling again. Does this imply that your coins will not run or increase in value? We won't see those parabolic, crazy ass moves throughout the entire altcoin market until later this year, maybe around December, when we step back, reevaluate, and meet up with Keith, but they will be pulled up with Bitcoin's price. In order to determine if the Bitcoin dominance chart is beginning to decline again, we examine the previous one. For the time being, it is Bitcoin time. The moment for Bitcoins has always been now. Just wait till 2025, the alts will get their chance to shine and run. It's as easy as that. Looking at this chart, though, we can trace the Bitcoin bull run from its inception all the way up to the current one. These charts were created by Keith, you can tell by the yellow arrows. Do the yellow arrows seem to you? It appears that something is about to transpire. A crimson line appears before you. Examine the diagonals that are red. It's the same action. The next step is for Bitcoin's price to rise. Here we are, or we are about to enter the area where this thing is going to blow up, between 86,000 and 96,000. The schedule is straightforward. Notate this. Persist in this with me. There's no real challenge. You can understand it with no trouble at all. May, I vow to you. The price of Bitcoin will skyrocket either in the latter week of August or the first week of September. It will be unlike anything you've ever witnessed before in terms of bullishness. Following that, an adjustment will be made. The adjustment will not be as severe as a black swan. A correction is in the works. I mean, we could get back to where we are today and perhaps go a little higher. All right, that will continue until the correction is completed, which is expected to be around November. These markets are going to blow up from November through March. We may get a good run from the alternates at this point. An amazing descent from the altitude. Here's where you'll begin to see some income from your outs. You are missing three axes, 620 and 50. Very well. Then, oh great, tax time rolls along. A slowing becomes apparent around that time. At this point, most people assume that's all there is to it. Crypto's processed. The bull run has already taken place. People begin to dismiss it, thinking it's nothing big. But that's when the most significant changes to the palette and the parabolic blow-off peaks begin. When it happens, the markets start to skyrocket. At that point, these markets begin to wind down. The amount of money that is about to flood into the cryptocurrency markets, both from individuals and institutions, will send your savings skyrocketing and put you into retirement. This is something you have never seen or witnessed before, and it's happening at a time when these markets are primed. You had better have an exit strategy ready because you will be sitting there trembling in your chair and boots and having no idea what's going on as those zeros start printing on top of your cryptocurrency. This is going to hit hard and quick, so if you don't take profits, you'll be left holding the bag. I'm selling all of my cryptos and will buy them back when the markets crash again, it's that simple, folks. You really should have an over-the-counter setup. When you're done, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think.